Hey, Dream Drivers, welcome to episode 176 of the Dreams and Drive podcast. Today's episode is called What's in Your Trunk. We're going to be talking about how you can be prepared at all times. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. I didn't have a new episode this week because it was just super busy and something in my gut was just like, Raina, wait until next week to release that episode. So our normal interview that was supposed to go up this week will go up next week. If this is your first time listening, hello, welcome, hopefully you enjoy. Make sure you subscribe to this podcast wherever you're listening. And if you really enjoyed this episode, I really hope you guys get some tips on how you can really be prepared and always think ahead when it comes to your dream driving journey. Make sure that you're following us on social. We are Dreams and Drive across the board on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And you can also use the hashtag Dreams and Drive when sharing as well. And I love it when you guys are posting on Instagram stories, tweeting me, all that good stuff. So make sure you do that, especially for this episode. I am going to be telling you guys a personal story that I hopefully think you guys think is funny. But if you don't think it's funny, it's whatever. You'll still be able to get the major lesson uh, that I'm going to try to give you guys today. So before we get into the episode, I want to say shout out to everyone who's leaving us reviews a few episodes back. I told you guys how we weren't getting as much reviews on our on our uh, podcast ratings on iTunes podcast or Apple's podcast. So I really, really just so grateful to everybody who has been going in, leaving a rating and a review. And I'm going to be shouting out Fancy Uwandu. I want to say that's how you say it. Um, And this is what she said. Absolutely amazing podcast. Started listening early last year and I'm inspired every time by successful entrepreneurs being interviewed. Thank you so much, Fancy. I really do appreciate you. So as you guys know, I quit my job. I talk about that in episode 172 of the podcast. I give you all the details, all that good stuff about why quit, all that stuff. So anyway, I'm going to tell you a little story about what happened before I quit my job. So this happened, I want to say... In the early summer 2018. So um, I had been coming into work a little bit late and my boss was just like, you know, Raina, can you please make sure that you're getting in at this time? So I said, all right, I really need to work on getting in before my start time, whatever. So I had really, really like mornings for me, like I'm a morning person, but that commute sometimes was just a little bit difficult for me and just getting excited and all that stuff to get in was a little bit difficult for me, but I had been working on it. So this one morning I'm think I have everything, right? I'm in my car, I'm driving to work, and I'm just like, okay, okay, man, you got everything. You're going to be on time. You're going to be on time today. So I'm driving, 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 and I look up into my rearview mirror, and I realize I have a stocking cap on my head. And, you know, anybody, my ladies who listening to this, who wear wigs or whatever, I had a stocking cap. I had brains underneath. And I'm like, oh, shoot, I don't have my wig on. I'm like, oh, it's in the back seat. It's fine. It's fine. So, you know, I'm driving, driving, looking at the clock. You know, the the, the highway is just, you know, it's 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 being friendly to rain it today. So I pull up in my job. I pull up in the parking lot. I'm looking at the time. I'm like, oh, I'm early. I'm getting my bag together, you know, making sure I don't got no ash on my face or anything. And I turn around and go into my back seat and I, I'm patting, right? I'm going to make a sound. I'm patting. I'm like, yo, where's the wig? I don't feel any curly, you know, hair on my finger. And I turn around. There's no wig. I look on the passenger seat in the front seat. There's no wig. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, I do not have my wig. Now, mind you, I have natural hair. I'm all for expressing yourself. I don't think that you have to, you know, wear wigs. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying today it was in my plan to have this wig worn because the braids underneath (laughs) <laughs> my stocking cap were crusty. They were not like slick braids that I would be able to rock appropriately in the office. I do value looking presentable and I really would not have looked presentable. Natural hair aside, like it's not even about that. It's just about my hair was looking crazy. So I have a few options, right? The options were number one, I could do a braid out. I could take out the braids that I had in my hair and try to do some kind of thing with my hair. But mind you, I'm supposed to be getting to work early. And I'm like, I don't have time to do a braid out. <laughs> number two, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go into the office with this scarf on my head. So I had a scarf on that was underneath the stocking cap. So I'm going to put the scarf on real quick, figure it out. I want to make sure that I do not... Do not, do not, you know, come in late. So I run into the office, like, try to make sure nobody sees me. And 
I quickly, 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 like, put my stuff down in my office and then, like, run to the bathroom. So during this time, I get a text from my best friend, uh, Tina. Tina and I need to have a podcast. You guys will love Tina. I love Tina. So anyway, I see a text from Tina. And, you know, <clears throat> she has a son, Caleb, who's one. And she's like, you know, this morning, Caleb just gave me all these kisses or whatever. And, like, she was just telling me how Caleb was just being a really sweetie pie to her this morning. And I was like, yo, girl, you know, can, can Caleb send me a wig? And she was like, what? What happened? So I'm in the bathroom texting her. I'm like, Tina, I don't know what to do. Should I do a twist out? Should I wear this scarf? So we're in the bathroom, and she's trying to, like, coach me through what I should do. We ruled out me doing a twist out because the braids were just, like, really janky. I would be in the bathroom for a long time. We almost settled. We almost settled on me just rocking the scarf all day. But I had, um, like, my outfit, the color of the scarf and the outfit just would not have looked right. It wasn't a scarf that I could have made into a head wrap. It was, like, kind of like a bandana. Um, And it also had all this writing on it. So it said Cream of Nature all over it. It was a gift from a gift set, Cream of Nature gift set that Stephanie, at first and last PR, had given me during Curl Fest, like, last year or whatever. So... The scarf was out of the question. So I'm just like, like, I don't really know what to do. Like, I really, really don't know what to do. And in the back of my mind, I'm here thinking, like, where's my wig? Actually, I hope it's not in the middle of the street somewhere, like, at home or whatever. That was an expensive human hair, you know, virgin hair, whatever that is. It was an expensive wig. So I'm here thinking of all this stuff. And there's just, like, you know, we're texting each other at this point now. So then she sent me a text. And I literally had to have her record her voice. (laughs) Because when she sent me this text, this is how I read it exactly in her voice. Girl, you ain't got no backup wig in your trunk. And that's when the light bulb hit, guys. Like, what's in my trunk? What's in my trunk? Yo, I, I know I have a backup wig in my trunk. Like, I have a lot of stuff in my trunk. But, like, I know the last time I looked in my trunk, I did see some, like, you know, some bundles or whatever. So I'm like, oh, wait, I may just have a backup wig in my trunk. So I, like, scurry out of the bathroom, run past the offices, go outside the building, run towards my car. I'm popping, like, the trunk thing or my keys, and I go to my trunk, and I see it. Now, it's not the cutest wig. It wasn't the best quality wig, but it was something that I could put on my head. And it worked, right? Like, you know, I had to do a little bit of finessing in the front because it was a U-part wig and my hair was braided. So I did a little bit of finessing. It looked a little crazy, but it looked less crazy than I looked when I was going into the office. So anyway, here's where we come to the moral of the story, right? Right. What's in your trunk? How prepared are you for rainy days? How prepared are you for when things go wrong in your business? How prepared are you in general? You know, there's a saying, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. And this was a moment for me where I was just so happy that I had that spare wig in my in my trunk. And, you know, I could have survived during the day. I'd have been perfectly fine. I would have probably had crazy stares during the day. But it was very useful to me that there was a backup that I had. So this is really short, but I really, really want you guys to really focus in on what is in your trunk. How prepared are you for things, right? So I'm going to give you a little list of things that, you know, you should be prepared for or things that you can make sure in your trunk at all times so that if you have somebody asking you for something, if you need something, it's already there. You don't have to stress yourself out about it if things go awry or if things go wrong. So here are three things that I always have a Dropbox shareable link. I make it like a bit.ly link, shorten it so that I can just send it to anybody whenever it's needed. So because I'm a podcaster, I do a lot of speaking. Um, I'm on other people's podcasts. There are three things that people always ask me for, right? Number one would be my bio, right? So do you have a short bio? Do you have something you can send us? Number two would be a media kit. So that's something that's representing my podcast. It gives an overview to sponsors, to people who are interested in the show, that kind of thing. And number three, photos. So I know what my bit.ly short link is to all those three things, a bio document, a media kit link, and my photos Dropbox folder. I would recommend if you're a creative, if you have a business, if you're a personal brand of any sort, you take some time to invest in and have in your trunk these three things. It's so much easier than, you know, going through files every time, always having to think about, oh, where did I save it? Where, where is this? No, just create a Dropbox link, Dropbox folder, 
make that link a shortened link, make it something that you have stored in some email that you can easily send to people. It will be a lifesaver. You can even have a website page that links to everything. It could just be dreamsanddrive.com slash document, whatever. And then you link to all those three things in one space. But all I'm saying is have it so that you can always be ready to send it out if needed. So in business, there are other few things that I think you should always have in your trunk ready to go. So whether that's templates, so templates for emails, templates for, you know, things that you do repeatedly. So for me, reaching out to guests, I have templates for that. I have a whole interview email pitching a template that I have for sale on my site at dreamsanddrive.com slash shop. So those are things that I always have in a Word document, Google Drive document, whatever it is, it's easily accessible to me and I can get it. It's on the cloud. I can get it at all times. Now, if you're a business where you do a lot of contracts, right? So let's say that you are, you know, doing a lot of ads or whatever it is. You want to make sure that you have spare blank contracts to go ready for easily be edited um, and have it in some type of system such as um, just using this one here. There's other ones that you can use as well. DocuSign, something that you can easily direct people to. They can sign it. Voila. Your business can commence. Your business can, their business flow is not disrupted. Always think about how you can systemize things and how you can make things easily accessible in your trunk. Number three, your elevator speech, right? When it comes to business, you need to know, you should not have to think about what your elevator pitch is, what who you are, what is it that you do, that's something that shouldn't even be in your trunk. That should be in your head. That's something that if I say, hey, dream driver, what are you? what is it that you do? You should be able to spit that off. Be prepared to tell anybody at all times what it is that you do, who it is that you're, you know, appealing to and what's your value to this world, right? Like I was just watching Good Looking Out on YouTube. It's a series that Complex has and Karen Civil they were critiquing this 15-year-old rapper, and one of the things that YG, the rapper, said, or I think it was Kristen Howard is her name, they were just talking about how he had a good story, but he didn't really know how to talk about it, and that was him also being very young. He's only 15, but if you know what your elevator speech is, if you really have your story down packed, it can be very short, but that can really help you pitch and sell yourself. And I know that's something that a lot of people often struggle with. So I'm going to be working on some programs or courses. I don't know yet, but I think it's something that I can help people really nail. What is your story in like three sentences, four sentences max? Another thing that you should always have ready to go are business documents. So you should have a digital copy of very important legal documents such as your LLC formation, your tax uh, documents. Uh, it could even be your trademark filing, all that stuff. You could even make that be in a Dropbox link or something that if you need to ex access that, if it needs to be uploaded as proof, like I know even on Instagram to verify if you want to get a blue check next to your name, you can submit to be verified, but they want a, a copy of your business LLC, your tax, something like that. Like you really need to make sure that you just don't have those things in oblivion. You need to be able to access them or have digital f copies of them. So make sure that you also have that in some sort of digital trunk as well. Something else that people don't think about a lot is press clippings. So a lot of times when people are pitching to be on the show, I'll say, hey, have you been featured anywhere else? And they're like, oh, yeah. I'm like, hey, send me a link. And, you know, it takes them a long time to, you know, send me the links to different things. They send me five different links. And I'm like, you know what? That's inefficient to me. One of the best things I think anybody with a personal online brand or business brand is have one central location you can direct people to have a virtual trunk that shows your credibility that shows where you've been so for me if you go to dreamsanddrive.com slash press you can see a list of every single press feature hit that I've gotten with dreams and drive I'm not sending you 20,000 links now if you want something specifically I'll go to that page and then send you the direct link but it's very easy for me to just send people that link and everything just flows. It's easy, it's hassle-free, and it's quick, right? You want to be able to access these key things very quick. 
Be prepared. You never know when someone wants to say, hey, you know, I'm coming from the Oprah show, but I just want to know that you guys have been other places. Send me a link to your portfolio, whatever that is. I said portfolio. If you're in the creative field, you also should have that in your trunk, right? Like if you're a videographer, photographer, you should have some sort of link that you can send people at any time. You shouldn't have to go digging through your phone and sending them 20,000 different pictures. Curate that into one central location Put that in your digital trunk and have that, you know, be a shortened link of some short sort that you can send to people um, during emergencies or just very easily. So when it comes to like technical things, there's something that I had to learn. Two weeks ago, my mic broke. The USB portion of my mic didn't stop working and I have a podcast. So it's like, what am I going to do? You know, I had to record the intro for an episode that's going up tomorrow and there is no mic. I didn't want to record it with like my pod, with my uh, phone headphones because, I mean, although the Apple headphones are all right, it wouldn't be the same quality that you guys are used to from my mic. So good thing when I was working at my job, I befriended this older guy, Joe, Joe P, um, and he was a tech geek. He loved tech. We used to always talk about tech things, and he gifted me a long time ago a uh, Zoom recorder or Zoom like portable recorder. So I thought about it. I'm like, oh, wait, I can use the XLR cable in, from my mic into the Zoom recorder and record the intros that way. So I had in my trunk just, you know, coincidentally, I had something I can use, but if I didn't have that, I would have been screwed. So I am so, so, so thankful that I had that extra mic. But you know what? If I didn't have it, I would have had to figure out how to get it done. Uh, Something else that I always think if you're in the tech field, you know, have extra microphones, have extra batteries, extra headphones. Always make sure that you're Thinking about what if something goes wrong, you should always have a backup of some sort. So when it comes to branding, there are some things that I also think you should always have in your trunk because you never know who you'll meet. You'll never know when there's an opportunity that you'll need to, you know, promote yourself in some way. Business cards. I know business cards are dead, but they're also still not dead, right? I think it's very useful sometimes when you're in a very, you know, hey, just I like what you're doing. Give me a business card. I'll reach out to you later. You don't always have time to like put in someone's information in your phone, but you can always slip somebody a business card of some sort. So make sure that you never run out on business cards. Even if you don't have a lot, a lot, just make sure you have at least 10, 15, something that you have in your pocket, in your bag at all times. Another thing that I realized is also something that is really important that you want to have in your trunk is some uniform, some kind of branding of some sort, some kind of collateral. So for me, I always have a Dreams and Drive crew neck, hoodie, or t-shirt available at all times. When in doubt, brand it out. Like when I was had that opportunity to be on the Jimmy Fallon show and I met Chadwick Boseman the day before, I'm like, yo, what should I, what should I wear? And instead of me thinking about all these different fancy outfits, I said, you know what? I'm going to wear my Dreams and Drive crew neck. That's the easiest thing. At least I know I'll get some kind of branding and it all worked out. So I really, really think that a lot of times people make things super, super hard. When in doubt, brand it out. Have in your trunk some type of collateral. And if you don't have a t-shirt, maybe it's a sticker. Maybe it's a pen of some sort. But make sure that you have something that you can leave, you can give away. I always have like free t-shirts on hand if I go to an event or something in my bag. You never know who you'll meet, but just having something you can give away, especially when it comes to your branding, is very important. That's just a really quick story that I wanted to share. A lot of us, I find, are leaving things up to chance. And when you're a dream driver, you don't want to do that, right? You always want to make sure that you are prepared as much as possible. Would you buy a new car without a spare tire in the trunk? You wouldn't, right? So when you're building a business, you want to make sure that you're thinking about what are the things that I need to have prepared just in case something goes wrong or just in case I need it. Those are the safety precautions that we should be taking along our dream driving journey, right? Just as we put on seatbelts when we get into a car, we want to ensure that we are Putting seatbelts on things when it comes to our business. Think about the things that you should have backups for. 
just in case, just like my wig. Something told me a long time ago, girl, you better keep this wig in your trunk because you do not know when you'll need it again. And I'm so happy that I did because I didn't have to walk around looking crazy all day at work because of that, right? Now, there are going to be times when you won't be able to back up everything, where you won't have everything easily accessible, when there is something that's going to go wrong, but that's okay at least You tried, right? At least you prepare for other things, but just now know when that thing comes up, right? So now I know right here, it's good now that you have to buy an extra mic because just in case one mic doesn't work, I have another one. So those are always learning opportunities. That's the biggest thing that I want you guys all to understand, When opportunities come, you won't always have time, but a quick walk to your trunk, figurative or literal, could be a lifesaver. So what else would you add to this list, right? What's in your trunk? What's in your business trunk? What are things that you always have on you just in case? What are things that you always have ready to go? I would love to know. I'm going to do a post on social media. You'll see on the Dreams and Drive Instagram page. It's just going to be a quick post that said what's in your trunk. Comment underneath that and share your own story just as I've shared today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you so much. If you Really, really love this episode. If you found it useful, please share it with somebody on social media. We are Dreams and Drive across the board, and you can use the hashtag Dreams and Drive as well. You can also share it um, via Twitter, Facebook, any of those, LinkedIn, anything. And you know what the best thing to do? You also can just share it with people in your everyday life, whether you're texting, whether you're emailing it, whether you knock on your neighbor's desk and say, hey, listen to this episode. I really appreciate it. You guys are the reason why I'm able to grow every month, every year over year, right? You guys are the reasons why I'm getting opportunities. So please, please, please just keep on sharing. I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Shout out to everybody who participated in our Dreams and Drive flash sale. Uh, a few people got some really cool Dreams and Drive hoodies this week for a really great price. If you still want to get Dreams and Drive gear, just go to dreamsanddrive.com slash shop. I'm trying to get rid of this gear because I have some ideas for some... Um, New merchandise that I want to get going and I want to clear out this old inventory. So please, 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 there's a few stuff left. Love your help in moving through this stuff. If you have not already subscribed wherever you're listening, whether it be Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, SoundCloud, CastBox, wherever, please hit the subscribe button so that every time we have a new episode, you are notified. I would love to get your feedback on these episodes, so feel free to send me an email, Raina at dreamsanddrive.com. I love getting your feedback on these episodes. Let me know if you like this Minnesota. Um, It was me just experimenting with something a little bit different, sharing a little bit about my story, trying to be a little bit funny. Hopefully y'all laughed. I laughed when it happened. (laughs) All right. Keep dreaming. Keep driving. And our next interview is going to be with Tiffany DeAndra. DeAndrea. All right, keep dreaming, keep driving, and we'll chat again in episode 177. Bye, guys. Few last housekeeping notes. If you are not already part of our Dreams and Drive newsletter, the keys that we send out weekly, just go to dreamsanddrive.com slash join. That's dreamsanddrive.com slash join to sign up. And if you want to be part of our Dream Driver Mastermind or Facebook, just search Dream Drive. Just search Dreams and Drive. Just search Dream Driver Mastermind the next time you're logged on. Or you can go to dreamsanddrive.com slash Facebook to sign up and gain access there. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you always for rocking with me. Thank you guys for believing in me. This whole unemployment journey over these past two months has really been ups and downs, filled with ups and downs, filled with challenges, but I'm still excited. I'm still motivated. I'm still believing in the vision and the mission, and um, I'm excited for what's to come. Keep dreaming, keep driving, and we'll chat again in episode 177. Bye, guys.